not know that I'm actually, and I really have been fed up. Well done. It's looking beautiful. Don't know why it's taken me this long. My last supper, it would be that. Anyway, hopefully we will get there. That's been an interesting experience. Really lovely to see. Good morning and welcome to another vlog. If you didn't catch the last one, you will not know that I'm actually in Spain. Uh, I've managed to tag myself on to my sister's holiday. I think she's just shut me out the door. Anyway, I'm trying to escape because we've got six children with us and it's very noisy and very loud. The age range is from two to 11. So we've got our work cut out this week. However, we've been here since Saturday and it is amazing. <gasps> the heat is glorious. I just got so fed up with the weather in England. I think everybody has been so fed up and I really have been fed up. It hasn't really been a summer. I've heart worn like hardly any of my wardrobe. We've just had so many rainy, boring days that I'm so grateful to be here right now. So we've come to a place called um, La Manga Club. Now it's near um, Mercia Airport, which is kind of like down the southern part. Toward, it's kind of away from wherever else goes really. Um, but we flew actually into Alicante this time. I don't know why, because then I had to drive this big, massive minibus van with gears which I'm not used to so we we were really lucky when we were younger my granddad used to have an apartment here and we would come out here pretty much all summer which now looking back I realized how lucky we were we'd sort of break up from school and spend the whole summer here um, and I would do anything to be able to have somewhere abroad we could do that with with all of our children because oh it's so nice it's just so nice to be somewhere with the heat and being abroad and oh i love it so today we're going to head down to the pool and then we're going to hopefully go down to the beach this afternoon uh, depending on heat wise we don't want it to be too hot for the little ones and then tonight we might venture out we're not sure we'll just play it by ear every day we've got we've got a kitchen so we can cook here and last night we ate here which is a little bit easier with all the little ones but we I'm just going to see how the day goes and what we do. We've got a lovely terrace at the back here and one out the front. And we've got also got a like a hot tub, which is like cold, which is great. So the kids have been loving jumping in there. So there's so much to do that we actually don't really need to do anything. We'll just sit here, which is kind of would be nice. Anyway, we're going to get ready to go down to the pool. We've got to put suntan lotion on, factor 50 on everyone. We are really strict with it. So I will show you around later on this afternoon. Can you show me your swimming, Flora? Wait for me to swim. Yeah, I'll wait for you to swim. You show me how you do your swimming. Yeah. Show me your swimming. Go, go, go. Well done, Flora. Very good. No one not got armbands. I've not got armbands, no. I'm not little, no. You have. You've gone in the swimming pool. We're quite lucky. Look, nobody else is here in the baby pool. And there's a little park up there. So we've got up there, there's a little park. So we've got all the pool to ourselves. There's nobody else here, is there, Flora? Everybody else has gone in the big pool. Nobody's there. It's all very quiet. So this is a view here. You can just see the strip which runs right across the back there. Can you see it? Um, so there's a little bit of sea that kind of comes in this bit there before the strip of land on the other side. Um, and it's a lovely beach on each side. It's like really nice and warm and shallow. So we might venture up there this week at some point. I'm not sure just having a walk I'm going down to the supermarket uh, with Flora so we're heading round the whole complex it's huge it's very very big <laughs> just a 
arrived at the beach. It's looking beautiful, very clear. I think the girls are going to be able to do some snorkeling, which is great. It doesn't look like much of a shade, but this is the Lakala. This is the um, restaurant, and we've been going there for many years. It's really good, uh, so I'm hoping it's still good. The sea's looking really clear. I'm really pleased about that. So we're going to head down to see if we can find some shade of some sorts, and then get in that water. last night but I'm using it again um, just literally doing the kids tea and I am amazed by these things I've always been a bit dubious a bit like oh do they really like work like what a load of rubbish oh my gosh like last night's cooking took no time it was so quick it was so easy to clean I just love this I'm gonna get one of these at home I think so if anyone's got any recommendations as to which ones I should get please do let me know because obviously I'm new to all this, but it's so easy. You just literally push fish, like chips, done. And they're in there. And they're in these trays and oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. Like these are the little potatoes. If I take it out, there we go. I'm cooking those in there and you just take it out and check on it. And then it goes back onto its timer. It's so good. I like, don't know why it's taken me this long to actually think about getting one been actually really kind of thinking why have I not done this before so we've done a little kind of tap to see meal again tonight we are trying to be healthy aren't we Jess yeah this is like yeah Should give me the wine like a stone well not if we're drinking the wine no <laughs> that's the plan we've got no carbs here oh, sorry my sister <laughs> is eating the leftover fish finger um, apart from that, I'm not going to eat leftover fish fingers. I'm going to be eating this lovely cheese and meat and... Oh my God. You all right? I've got a nose sauce to me. You okay? Yeah. Do you want some wine? Good morning. Um, well, it's Tuesday, so we're off to the local market. I haven't been here for years, but it's got all lovely fruit and vegetables, um, nuts and things like that, olives. So we're gonna get a few bits and pieces. The girls want to look for bracelets, but I'll show you around the market. Very cool, isn't it? I wish we had a place like this at home. <laughs> We are back from the market with our purchases and now we're heading down to the pool. It's very hot here. Um, so we, I think I might even get in. I haven't really been in yet, but I'm boiling. So I'm looking forward to cooling down. So 
I've just been sorting out my sun care. These two products I highly recommend. I've got a code for both of them below. Um, this is Helio Care. This spray is the first time I've used it and it's amazing. I mean, as in the first time this holiday, we've got through quite a lot of it because we're all absolutely loving it. It's like a spray, but a clear spray, really nice to put on. And then this one I've been using quite a lot on my legs. So it's a tan cream, so it means it's got a fake tan in it, but it's also factor 50. There's no other product like this out there. And so I've been using it on my legs and my arms. I love it, really, really good. I've got a code for 50% off if you would like that. So I'll put that down below. Just having um, some sort of breakfast lunch, I suppose it is. It's kind of like a bit late in the day, but I've got all different fruits and things that we picked up at the market. Some nuts and seeds with some Greek yogurt and honey on the top. And then I've got a little treat and iced coffee. I'm going to try and walk a bit later and get my 10,000 steps in for the day. But I'm quite excited to eat this first and relax. I'm just on a walk with Flora, but this is the football pitches here. So there's quite a few football pitches, I didn't realise. But in the past, when we've been, like England, been over here playing and staying here in the hotel, which is pretty cool. So I'm just heading down the path. I'm going to go around the main entrance. I haven't been down this way for ages, so I'm just going to go and check it out. Here's one of the football pitches here. They must have to work really hard to keep it all green. Oh look, they're doing some sort of training. There's a lovely breeze, it's so nice. I've got a sleep here. I also wanted to just do a shout out to my bag. This bag has been so good on both our holidays. Um, so, they're from a company called Meg and B. I'll put a link below. But it's just the perfect size to just get your like phone, your purse, and then it's got this thing at the back here where you can put a belt through it, which I did when we were on the plane, which was quite um, handy. My eldest daughter did think I looked very odd. Uh, but I was like, I look really cool, so leave me alone. Anyway, I, I've loved this bag. It's been so useful. Um, I'm definitely get, would get it in a different colour as well, because I just think they're just really good to take away, especially because you can change all the straps too. So the main reason I would say people come to Lamanga is for the golf and tennis and this is one of their golf courses. Um, my granddad many years ago used to come here to play golf and then we as children used to play tennis here but obviously we're not doing any of that this time we're just relaxing by the pool. I'm just following the path along I'm gonna head up the back of the hotel now and take you inside there and then head back to meet all the others. This Poor buggy, it's very bu bumpy. Flora seems to be sound asleep and not bothered though. So that is good. Oh, it is hot. So this was the view I was trying to show you the other day. You can see the strip just out there. And then this is obviously the golf course that I've just been walking on another part of it. This is a bit of the inside of the hotel. So this is a restaurant now, I think. And then that's the, the main restaurant where hotel guests eat. It's a really lovely hotel and they've just done it up really nicely as well. I'll show you a bit of the decor inside.
Um, yes, yeah, so we're out for dinner. Um, we're going down to the waterfront. We just buy all the boats here. It's a really beautiful evening. Like the sun, it's going to set soon. So uh, we're hopefully going to sit outside, have some fish to eat. I'm going to get the kids to try some calamaris and some white bait. And I'm going to have my favourite gambus al I think is how you say it. Garlics, garlic, no, prawns in garlic, with garlic in uh, olive oil. It's the, my favourite dish. If I was to choose my favourite dish ever, my last supper, it would be that. It is my favourite. <laughs> That's what you think, the sun's gone round the other side of the world. Um, two are up, three are still asleep, is that right? No, two are still asleep and one is out with my sister. So my little niece um, tends to wake up quite early. So my sister's found a new routine of taking her out to the tennis club and going for a coffee down there with her, which is great because then everyone else sleeps longer, including me. So today I think we're gonna head to a different beach and drive actually out of the complex. So it's a bit of a, a hike out and my driving isn't great even in England, let alone here. So having my sister as a passenger driver is not fun either. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully we will get there. We had a really nice evening last night. We went down to the little port and had some different fish for dinner and the kids got to try the different things. And then they ended up with their ice creams, which they were obviously very happy about. This morning, while it's quite quiet, I'm gonna try to get on with some work I've got quite a few pieces that I've got to sort out for September when we go back. August is generally quite quiet um, with work for me, which is quite nice because it means I can take a little bit of time off or take my foot off the, the gas. Um, and so it means that when we get back in September, I can start cracking on, but I still need to tick things over. I've still got quite a few emails that I need to reply back to and when I get back I've got to do quite a bit of content. I didn't bring my big camera with me which is a bit annoying. I should have just bought it but it was so heavy and I just thought we're all I just thought I'm not gonna be in the mood to take lovely photos. So I've only got my phone. I've been playing around with the settings and trying to use it a little bit better. So it's been quite good for me to practice using a phone to take photos. Um, so that's been an interesting experience. Oh, I thought I had them coming back, they're not. Anyway, um, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and silence for about five more minutes, get some work done, and then I'll take you down to the beach with us. I'm just out for a walk with Flora. Um, I'm right at the top of the complex now, just doing a big kind of walk around. And I love looking out at the view. It's so lovely out there. It's very hot. 
hot. I'm not complaining, but it is boiling. All the others are down at the pool. I think I'm going to head down there later. We're heading out for a drink in one of the bars, which is probably a really bad idea. Um, so it seems they're quite hyper. Eddie, Eddie's just there. Show me your swimming. Let's see. Oh my gosh, look. What is it you're building? What are you building? A what? A ninja. So sunny, I can't see, and my screen has gone all dark. Um, I'm off for a walk with Flora. Uh, she's just having a little sleep. I'm walking down to the tennis club. I'm gonna have a walk through. I don't think anyone's playing, but might see some random players. Um, and then I'm heading to the supermarket. We're having a really chill day by the pool today. All the kids are absolutely loving it and Rafferty's swimming has come on so much. He's so confident. It's really, really lovely to see that he just will join in now with all the others and He's just really confident jumping in, swimming. He's really, really done the world of good to have like this week. We've got one more day left. I'm really sad. I really don't want to leave. I wish we could stay for longer. Um, I absolutely love the heat and the fact that there is just lots of things to do here and the kids are happy and not saying they're bored every second. Um, we're just sneaking out for, I was, that's really the wrong word, isn't it? We're not sneaking anywhere. We're sat on the patio out the front, but we've sent the kids to the back patio so that we can gobble some dinner. All right, Chess, eating your olives. Looking forward to your prawns. There they are. Done those in the air fryer. Looking good. Good evening. We are just heading out for some drinks. The kids are ahead of me, so I'm just gonna catch up. Um, we are going to some sort of live tribute fair. I'm not actually sure what it is. We're going to find out though. They're all off.
our neighbour's little allotment pot and they've got lovely sweet peas. They're all around there, they're really pretty. But I think um, I'm just going to see what they've got over here in terms of uh, tomatoes. So they've, they've actually gone away, so they're like, please eat the tomatoes. So I was like, okay just had one they're so tasty they're like absolutely delicious they're kind of like a little orange color so i'm going to collect some to make salad for dinner to put in a salad for dinner i mean Morning! Hey Mrs Cottontail! She has basically been on holiday all summer and my dad has been looking after her and he is so good with her. Like, you've had a feast every day, haven't you? Dandelions? Leaves? Are your favourite? Oh, she's so happy here because there's a bit of a garden that she can run around in. We don't really have a garden back at home so it's quite nice to have grass, isn't it? and somebody really taking care of you and looking after you. You're gonna be sad to come back up to Yorkshire, aren't you? So I'm just gonna head out for a walk with my mum and have a catch up with her. I haven't seen her properly yet. And we're gonna walk through the horses and down the river. Oh, this view is just amazing. I absolutely love sitting here. Let's hope the weather holds out today. Uh, we're heading out for Sunday lunch later on with my sister and all of the cousins. So I'll take you with me when we go. And then we are going to probably do some more walks this afternoon and just relax. I've got a load of washing that I need to sort out and things like that before the new week. But this Next week will be our last week before school starts. And to be honest, I was kind of dreading the school holidays because it's so long, I just find it really hard, but it now seems to have gone a bit too quickly. So it's a bit sad. Well, the sun has come out, sort of. It's quite cold, I'm not used to this cold. We are heading to the Odney Club now. My, my parents are already here, so we're just gonna go and find them and then have Sunday roast, which we haven't actually had here, so I'm hoping it's good because uh, something exciting is happening tomorrow i am starting with a personal trainer and a nutritionist for an eight week program this is my last supper really before it all starts Yeah. 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 Yeah.